we're going to start off on top right now. Uh, a lot of the stuff I uh, will show them probably heard them. He's flat. But no. Uh, Stevie likes to get hurt anyways. First thing I do is once he's broken down, I always straddle the leg. I always straddle this leg. Uh, me personally, you can do it either side. I straddle this leg. I always act like I'm working a wrist, get him to look away, right when he looks away, right on the back of his head, and I grab his chin. I'm keeping my weight on him, uh, right on his back, till I get his head in. Once I get his uh, chin, I keep his chin, chin pointing it in. You pull it out, they're gonna stop it for whatever reason. I guess he could break his neck. But, so I'll, I'll be on my toes here. I try to bring my elbow all the way back into my side. And he's basically already giving me a credit. I have this leg locked. I'll be here looking for a rest. Once I can't get it, boom, right to his chin. Pull it in. Get up, get up, get up. I lock my hands here to make it tight. Boom. Right once I uh, get his, I want his nose to touch his knee. Once I get there, switching off to a cradle. Once I lock my cradle up, I pinch my elbow. If I leave it here, he can still wiggle, 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 get out. So I pinch my elbows real tight, and I take my time. If I rush it over, he can roll through or whatever else. So once you lock your cradle up, take your time. I like to run him right over his hip here, or I use my knee to push his head under. Look at my elbows still pinched. All right, so he's flat. We're just gonna start there. My weight's on him. I hook his leg here. Hook it. Ooh. Act like you're going for a wrist. Ooh. Right once I get his uh, chin, I'm pulling his ear to his shoulder. Boom. Once I get his ear to his shoulder, I lock. I circle towards his leg. Lock my hands up. Pinch my elbows. You could use your knee here. Or once you lock, uh, you take him right over his head. Boom, 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 boom. Nice and slow, land on your head. Tripod. Tripod position. Got it? You need to see it again. What do you think? One more time. Good. So we're flat here. Hook that leg, grab his chin. Once I get his chin, just gonna take a, I actually take a hop step out here too. Boom. Circle, circle, circle. You could lock your hands. You don't necessarily have to, especially if he's like Stevie and just wants to give you a credit, just lock it off. Boom. You could use your knee. When I use my knee, I'm on the back of his head, not on the bump. Try to get it all the way on the neck. And I pinch my knees. Oh, that one's actually a little more tighter, I think. Or I just straighten out, run him right over his hips, land on my head. Elbows are pinched. Pinching your elbows on a cradle is probably the most important part to a cradle. Makes it real tight, can't wiggle out. Right, Stevie? You can curse. Questions? If I'm pinching, if I'm, I keep it locked if I'm pinching his head. If I don't, I straighten my leg out and then I'm running. So if I'm running over his head, I'll run. Boom, boom, boom. Not a fast run, just low, short steps. Huh? Yeah, come here. So he's flat, got it? Okay, grab his chin. Once, he, once I grab his chin, I try to drag my arm across the whole mat. Once I get his shoulder to his ear like that, I lock my hands, and I just bring my elbow to my side, boom. From there, just bring the hand that's going in the armpit to lock, to lock your hands for a cradle. From here, I use my knee, you feel that? 
Yeah. I just use my knee <laughs> and pull it in my hip. Or I'm pinched, I straighten out my leg so it's not hooked anymore. But I'm straight over his head. I didn't get to see it though. <laughs> Right? Alright, I'll help you if you know. Any other questions? Alright, one, two.